Okay, so the next piece I'm going to talk about is the treasure of... Not San Miklos. We have a guest who can actually pronounce Hungarian, because I can't. Um, it was found in the city of... Not San Miklos. In the Kingdom of Hungary. The specific location of the work is the Museum of Art History in Vienna. The artist responsible for the work is presumably various. There's only like one or two pieces that have inscriptions saying on who it is, but it's nothing notable. The medium of work is gold work. Um, it's from the early medieval period. The historical relevance is that it was found in 1799 in modern day. Neither of us speak Romanian. So it was Sinikilu, Mayor. <laughs> Romania in present day Romania by a Serbian peasant farmer. Uh, how long it takes to create is heavily debated, but it's most likely spanning over the course of the 6th to 10th centuries. Why this work is important, the cultural context in which the objects and the treasure were created, assembled, and deposited remains controversial, with the debate often influenced by nationalistic concerns. There are multiple cultural connections that have been made through the spread of the pieces. Avoid. I don't know. Byzantine. Byzantine. Magyar, Bulgar, and Khazar. Culture is how all have very specific connections to these pieces, the various pieces through different times. The treasure gives some idea of the art from the first Bulgarian Empire, Hungarian, and Khazar states. In the 19th century, the treasure was widely regarded in Hungary as originating with precursors of the Hungarian people and played a noble part as an icon of Hungarian nationalism. <laughs> the defining characteristic of the work is entirely made out of gold and it's a hoard of 23 vessels. Most notable include the cup of Atia, Attila, as in the Hun, Attila the Hun, which is a cup with a bull's head facing backwards, the figure of the victorious prince dragging a prisoner along by the hair, and the Bula inscription, <laughs> which is a bull with a 9 word 56 character inscription written in the Greek alphabet but in a non Greek language. Most likely an example of West Old Turkic. My personal observation is literally just like the sheer size of the cash, as well as how preserved the details of everything are. I thought it was like multiple different pieces just put together until I looked up on the website and they were like, no, this is all one collection. I was like, what the heck? Um, so it was just impressive. Um, how does it compare to, uh, oh, why I choose this work? I had seen the cup of Attila before, like in a history textbook, but I did not realize that it was actually important or part of like a collection, not gonna lie. It is important. She's also from the country, which is important. So don't blame me. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> how does it compare to other works from the period? Do they display artistic styles of a wide range of cultural influences throughout the timeline that the dates fit into. They reflect the influence of styles such as Greek, Turkic, and Persian uh, in the artisans of the region at the time. Fun fact! The aforementioned group of people who are attributed to making part of the treasure, the Magyars, is what the Hungarian name for their own country is derived from. Magyar Sag. Yay! Thank you, Anna! I have another fun fact. Bula means um, ass in Hungarian. Yeah, so the word that I struggle to say, Bula, that does mean something.